Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Aries for the week of October 13th. And a very special thank you goes out to each and every one of you who have been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing with others. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched. And of course the lovely comments. I thank you so much for doing that for me. Right. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Um, invitation coming in. Little trip. Not very far, but something that you wanted to do. Maybe you want to get a hold of a friend or an acquaintance and get to know them a little bit better and, you know, ask them if they'd like to take a walk around the park or perhaps a car ride short distance, just an enjoyable day out for yourself. You know, valuing your own life. Oh, and 10 of cups, beautiful, happy home, happy life. You reuniting with somebody, people, friends, going places, having a good time. You know, you're in the right place at the right time. You finally found somebody that you can really click with. And you're enjoying each other's company. You know, this could be your home life is starting to improve and you're just starting to get along with your neighbors and people around you. And you're just feeling more open to the world with your life. And the Nine of Pentacles. So finding your own self-independence knowing that you want to do something with your life and you're okay with doing it by yourself if need be. You don't need to have another partner in your life. You, you're quite comfortable with going solo if need be. You enjoy other people's companies, but this is the week that you're enjoying your own company as well. You're starting to understand that you're valuing all your own being and the lovers. Yeah, you're making uh, some really good choices this week for your career, your person of interest, friends, relatives, siblings, and you're listening to your yourself. Your own heart is speaking to you. It's telling you what you enjoy, what you don't, and what you want in a partner, whether that's a friend or a significant other, and you're honoring your own intuition this week of what it is and who it is you want to have around you in your life going forward. And the Four of Swords, yeah, you're tired. Perhaps some of you are just recouping. You know, maybe you're feeling a little bit under the weather or taking care of somebody who is or was under the weather and you volunteered to just give a helping hand, but it stressed you out, caused yourself a little bit of stress in your life this week and now you're understanding that perhaps you need to pamper yourself just a little bit so that you can not have to worry about things going forward and you can start to relax and enjoy what it is that brings you pleasure and the two of cups yeah you're definitely clicking with somebody somebody that you really get along with somebody who gets along with you you get along with them you finish each other's sentences, you laugh at the same things, you enjoy the same things, you have the same sort of values, and you're just getting along. You know, this can be a significant other, or this could be a really good friend. You know, somebody that you really want to be around. You enjoy their company, they enjoy you. You know, sit there sometimes and just watch a, um, a movie on TV, but you're doing it in the company of another that you enjoy. And the temptress. Yeah. Just enjoying yourself this week. I really like that. You know, you finally get to sow your own oats. Feel what it is that you want in your life. And enjoy yourself as you do it without feeling guilty, you know, of the people that you're choosing in your life. Your health is starting to come back. You're starting to feel more harmonious within your own choices. And you seem to have more peace of mind this week of, of 
the choices that you're making. You know, you're not feeling guilty or worried that somebody doesn't agree with you because right now, the only one you're worrying about is yourself, and that's a good thing. And the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's money here, good chances, good opportunities, day trips. There's opportunities for sure, you know. And you're finally taking, sorry, she's still a kitten. You're taking those opportunities to enjoy yourself, going places, having things in your life. And just taking day trips. And you're more at peace with the investments that you're making with yourself and your time and the choices. Ooh. And the Knight of Cups. So there's definitely people around you that are willing to take trips with you, go places, enjoy different things that you like to enjoy. So there could be somebody here who's actually offering you the beginnings of a new relationship, budding romance. You know, you might meet this person in the most unexpected places and you just click, you get along, you sort of have that spark between you. And the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, hard at work, making your investments, worrying about yourself a little bit this week of your finances and what's coming into your future and, you know, all the strifes and hard labor that you've put into accomplishing what you have and you want more. And you know it will come, but you're not having many patience this week with how long it seems to be for you to come around and show you that, yeah, you're making the right choices, you're making the right investments. You're questioning things this week. And justice. Yeah, there could be a settlement here or a legal contract. Maybe you're entering into a new relationship with somebody or a new business contract with somebody. And you're making sure that your investments and your effort is protected and well taken care of. If this is a divorce, it's a settlement that will be divided equally. You know, the assets or stuff. Uh, this could be a settlement of old debts, you know, old accounts owed to you or you owed to somebody else, but you just want the slate clean so that you don't have to think about it, talk about it, or ever having a thought about it again in, in the future. So you're moving forward on something this week and you're taking the initiative to making sure that things in your life are what you anticipate them to be and you will make sure that they're going the right way. Yeah, and the magician. Yeah, you're following your own intuition, you know, your own potential. You want to get out from difficult challenges. You're um, focusing in on what it is that you want in your life, the positive in your life the people around you you're realizing that yes you have the potential to bring in all that you want need and desire but you also want to protect yourself when you get it you don't want to have to question the people around you that are coming into your life and what their intentions are towards what you already have you know what you have is what you have and what they have is what they have and you don't want to have to worry about any of that so you're manifesting new beginnings in your life in a different path for yourself but you're doing it with forethought of what it is exactly and how you envision it to be Ooh, ten of pentacles well legacy leaving you know money for somebody else this could have been an inheritance that come into you unexpected money a will maybe somebody's left you in the their will and all of a sudden you know the money comes in and you're willing to invest it because it was unexpected joyfully unexpected but you want to make sure that it's used wisely this could be a, a home as well you could have inherited something like that in a different town province country and you're going to go have a look at it and you know weigh the pros and cons do you hang on do you you know rent it out do you sell it and invest the money you know, in something else, you're definitely making sure that this new money that's coming into you 
is invested wisely for the future. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you a fairy carpet. Yours are all about new friendships, opening up to new possibilities, money for sure. The desire for more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. And there you are. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.